What's going on everybody? How you doing out there? How you living? Are you living the dream? Are you living your best life? Are you living like you can never live again? Uh, back with our pal Ed. Uh, Ed, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, I'm now I'm going to try and do your last name. Zeringu. Ed Zeringu. Uh, I, I, I debated. No, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I just did it. So there it is. Uh, request for him. And we've mentioned this band a thousand times, Tourniquet. And I want to say that they're going to be Christian metal. I could be wrong about that, but uh, today, what was the name of the song that we were going to do? Um, it was Pathogenic, Pathogenic something or others. Uh, you can see it right here, but I can't. Uh, pathogenic Ocular Dissonance. That's, that's the one that we're doing today uh, for Ed, because he says you should check this song out. And I do want to say that I believe that they are going to be Christian metal, because every time we've done Bride or any other kind of Christian metal bands, this band pops up. And I do not know what Tourniquet sounds like. Uh, we're going to learn about that here pretty quick. So, uh, let's see. Tourniquet, they have 11,173 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Vanishing Lessons, 158,000 plays. You got Arc of Suffering, 161,000 plays. You got Onward to Freedom, 148,000 plays. You got Where Moths and Rust Dis... Dot, dot, dot. 143,000 plays. Um, and you got psycho surgery and uh, 148,000 plays, and that is their uh, top five. Now we're going to look into albums and see what we have here. And I do know that the song we are doing today comes from the album uh, that I believe is called Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance, which came out in 1992. This band looks like they started in 1990 with uh, Stop the Bleeding. Then you got Psychosurgery 1991, the album song we're doing here. Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance 1992, Vanishing Lessons 1994. The Collected Works of Tourniquet comes out. You got Crawl to China and uh, the China. Uh, 1997, you've got Acoustic Archives. You got Microscopic View of Telescop. Dot, dot, dot. Telescopic Realm. Microscopic view of tel telescopic, very uh, scientific -y, isn't it? Uh, where Moths and Rust Destroy is the album. Tourniquet recorded uh, live. Antiseptic Bloodbath, wow. Onward to Freedom, Gazing at Medusa. The Epic Tracks, Stop the Bleeding. Psychosurgery Collection Edition, I don't know what that means. Uh, another, it's a reissue in 2020, Pathogenic, uh, pathogenic Ocular Dissonance. And then you've got The Slow Cosmic Voyage 2. Are these guys still going for it? 2020's album, The Slow Cosmic Voyage to Wisdom. Uh, the, I'd be curious to know if these guys are still at it. That's 2020 would tell me, yes, that they are. Uh, now we're going to look into them related artists. And if this doesn't have a whole uh, heap and helping of, uh, of, of the... Uh, uh, Christian metal that we have done here on the channel, I will be surprised and see I'm not surprised at all because Deliverance is on this list and we've done Deliverance. Baron Cross, we have done Baron Cross. We've done um, First Listens to Baron Cross and Imaginary Music, the reaction video. Blood Good, yes, we have done them. White Cross, guess what? We've done them on the First Listens. Believer, uh, can't remember. Mortification, the what the extreme grindcore or death metal uh, Christian metal band, we have done them on the first listens. Uh, Vengeance Rising, you got Living Sacrifice, we have done them on the first listens. Um, Deuteronomonium, um, Narnia, Bride, we have done them on the first listens. Uh, Savior Machine, and that is the related artist for the band. There is no image here, but there is a bio. I will hunt down an image of the band and they'll be standing there going, Shane, let's have a little holy water and let's have a good time here, man. Get yourself a little snack cake or something. Sit down and let's have a little dock docking sesh. Formed in Los Angeles in 1990, thrash medalist Tourniquet. So they're going to be a thrash band? Is a trio featuring members Luke Easter. Boy, that's a handy name, isn't it? Luke Easter. Vocals. Aaron Guerra guitar and vocals, and Ted Kirkpatrick, drums. The later, who also doubles as the group's main songwriter, it doesn't take long after hearing the group's music to find out the chief musical influence is Iron Maiden, especially evident in the galloping rhythms and challenging song structures, as well as thought-provoking lyrics. But the trio is not your average metal band, as they've been known to deconstruct their tunes and play unplugged shows. 
while receiving favorable press from such publications as Modern Drummer, Guitar for the Practice Music for the Practicing uh, Musician, and Guitar Player, Tourniquet has issued six releases: 1990 Stop the Bleeding, 1992 Psychosurgery, 1994's Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance, 1995's Vanishing Lessons, and 1997's Crawl to China, and 2000's Microscopic View of a Telescopic Realm. realm. So there you have that. that. I read that whole bio. I read the whole thing. So what do you think of that? Hmm? Um, it is that time. I'm going to go down here and hunt down that album. And Ed says you got to check this particular song out, which is the second song on the album of the Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance. Uh, and we're going to do that right now. Ready? This is the magic nipple titty takes us into the world of Tourniquet. Ready? Let's do it. I know they were a trio. It's like a high wire thrash song. If you're on the high wire at the circus. Ooh. Definitely a lot more heavy than I thought they was going to be. Like the pickup. Last big hit. Is this the same song? Wow. They just stopped and said, give Harvey a go on the bass. Well, they changed that on a dime, didn't they? Build the test.
Wow. Boy, they like to throw everything, everything but uh, the kitchen sink in there, didn't they? This has got a funky little phantom limb. Wow. I might have to check out the rest of that album. Yes, indeed. They, they, they had that thrash and then they had some blast beat in there and then they broke it down kind of slower and more groovy style. Pathogenic, Oculus, Dissonance. So what say you? Uh, most important part of my videos is always, for Ed, you can get in there too and, and tell me what you think about this. Um, I like to know exactly what you think of the band Tourniquet. And I've heard a lot of people, when we do the Christian metal stuff, they say, you gotta do Tourniquet. So today was that day to do the Tourniquet. So I'd love you to get down there and feed me some nummy, nummy yug yugs on that. Good, great, fantastic. Yes, Shane, I'm a massive fan of Tourniquet. Don't you know this is this to be the case? What is your all-time favorite album? Are they still going for it? I want to say if you're putting something out in 2020, but although the bio didn't say anything about that stuff. So is it re-releases? Are they out there? Are they doing something? Uh, what is your all-time favorite album from this band? Is it Patholo Pathogenic Oculus Dissonance? Is that your favorite record? What did you think of this song? Have you ever uh, met these guys before? Are they, in fact, Christian metal? There was nothing in there that said anything about that. And I'd hate to, uh, you know, make, make a false statement upon them. But uh, uh, what is your all-time favorite album from this band and your top five favorite songs? And have you ever se seen this band live? I'd love to know that. If you've ever been there and, and saw the magic before your eyes. Or you'd say, not good, not great. Shane, it was okay. It was riffy, raffy, scritchy, scrippy, scrappy. You know, they, they rocked pretty good, but, uh, you know, uh, it was just not my cup of tea. It's not something that I'd listen to. Give me my uh, REO Speedwagon and, and my uh, Journey records, and I'm perfectly happy. Okay? Uh, not my cup of tea. Hard pass. Goodbye, bye. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you're saying, hot oh, damn it. Yeah, I don't want to see it on there. Oh my God, I got to see it. It's simple. All you got to do is click one of them links in the description below. We'll get it on for you with thumbsy upsies to you in your honor. Or you could always put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see it and I like what you got going on, I'll do it. I'll hit it with a heart and tell you I'm going to do it, okay? That's all I got. Tourniquet.